How everybody doing out there in YouTube land? I'm Quiet Storm Curtis. What I got in my hand right now is the um, ZTE Jasper LTE track phone. It's running the latest framework, which is a Marshmallow 6.0.1. I'm going to show you guys how to bypass Google verification. Stay tuned, y'all. It's going to be good. How y'all guys doing out there in YouTube land? I'm Quiet Storm Curtis. Right now, I'm going to show y'all guys how to bypass Google verification now I'm gonna make a disclaimer here this is not to teach you guys how to steal phone these are for the people that actually forgot they um Google email and a password when they activate this phone now before we start this um, passing this Google bypassing this Google verification this is what you need you need a Wi-Fi or you need a hotspot I'm gonna turn the phone around the back. Now, to also make this trick work, you need to remove the SIM card and the uh, micro SD card. Now, you'll be at the worker screen of the um, verification, Google on um, Google verification. Click next. I'm gonna tell you to insert SIM card which you don't need. Skip. Now you're gonna need Wi-Fi. Right now I got my Wi-Fi running. That's all you need is Wi-Fi. See what I got here? I don't got no SIM card. I don't got no data. All I got is only Wi-Fi. And now you right here at um Google um verification which it says this device was reset to continue sign in with a Google that was previously sync on this device now this is what you gotta do the to, um, to bypass Google verification click on that all you need is one one word I mean one alphabet just one letter I'm gonna pick D hold on to it to this show up cut and copy you see the three buttons here you click on the three buttons and you go where it says assist that gonna lead you to um, Google which you don't want to sign in you're gonna say no thanks now it's gonna take you right over here to Google now right here you're gonna type stock Android this is what you need to go to stock Android see what it says stock Android now you click on stock Android and it takes you right there to the home screen now you're not in the clear because if you stop at this at this point you stop at this this point right now that means if your phone died or you or you took the back of your phone you are back where you started from so I'm gonna teach you guys how to the bypass um, Google verification and keep your phone activated now over here you see right here you're gonna click where it says apps at and you're gonna go right here and say Chrome you click on Chrome accept and continue say no thanks you click here on the top now on the top here you're going to write uh, google.com I'm 
gonna put go. Click on go. And it's gonna take you to Google.com. Now this is what you need to download to make this trick work and also keep your phone activated and bypass um, Google verification. You need to download this. You need to download it's called the test. D C call the test. D C P three point three point zero point eleven A P K. I'm gonna click on search. This is what you need. You need it's called a test. The D P C. Now I'm gonna go right to the top. Right here. Go right to the top. Where it says um D P C three point zero point eleven. Where it says right here, DP test DPC three zero point eleven A uh, APK APK memory right here. That's what I'm gonna click on to. Test DPC. 3.0.11 you need this guys you need you need this app or you won't be able to pass Google um, verification go down to the bottom you download the APK scroll down Click um, update permission. Allow. And you click OK. Now, as it's downloading, as it downloads, as it download this app, I'm going to show y'all guys how to access it. You click back to the home screen to the home screen the home screen page click all the way back where you at right now to the home page now where it says file manager you click on that you click on download click on this and there you go right there you click on that you go to settings you go down here where it says uh, unknown sources you click on that so therefore allow it to download the app you click right back again and install accept open now this right here was it says set up manage profile you need that you need to set up as device owner that's what you need um excuse me about that um my bad my bad um guys Right there, set up as um, device owner. Continue. Oops. 
that and watch it do its thing. And you're done. Turn off the phone. Restart it. Okay. Now, once the phone restarts, it actually bypass Google verification, and you could reactivate your phone and put in your um, new Google um, email and your password, and you're good to go. Now it's starting the um it's starting it up and starting the apps. There you go guys. It's been completed. And now you could set up your own um, new Google email and reactivate your phone again like it's new. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I'm gonna show y'all guys something. This phone is actually running the latest Frameware, which is um, Marshmallow 6.0.1. What you see right now, 6.0.1 is one of the latest frameware. Marshmallow. This right here, again, this is the um, ZTE Jasper LTE. Y'all guys, if y'all like what you're seeing here, y'all like being a form of the latest Android donate donate to my channel donate to my GoFundMe or my PayPal and for those who donate to my GoFundMe or my PayPal thank you very much I appreciate it every little bit helps and thank y'all guys again with the thumbs up please guys continue with the thumbs up thumbs up this video because I want to share this video I want to continue to share this video and thank you thank you to all my subscribers that leaves thumbs up and comment on my video leave your comments guys cuz I appreciate it and I read through all the comments and I respond to all each and every last of your comments leave the comments keep the thumbs up thank you guys for being my loyal subscribers and my loyal fans thank you again for my new subscribers that actually come in here and leave comment underneath the video. Thank y'all guys very much. This is Christ on Curtis. I'm out.